As astronomers at the University of Texas at Austin McDonald Observatory, we get to tackle some of the most interesting and challenging problems about our universe. But one of the biggest problems in astronomy and science research in general is less about the science itself, but about the people. Science, and astronomy in particular, has an equal access problem. Underrepresented minorities in STEM fields, science, technology, engineering, and math, are members of racial and ethnic groups that are not represented at the level they should be. This includes Black Americans, Latinx Americans, and Native Americans. Of all STEM areas, URMs are most poorly represented in physics and astronomy, with only 8% of bachelor's degrees given to students of color each year. Underrepresentation doesn't stop at the bachelor's level. It gets worse and worse at different career stage milestones, such that only 3.2% of all physics and astronomy faculty researchers are from these groups. This leaky pipeline isn't something that will gradually improve over time. In fact, graduate rates of URMs in physics programs has remained largely flat over the past 15 years, and we've actually seen a steady decrease in physics degrees awarded to black Americans. To do our part in solving this problem, we've created the Texas Astronomy Undergraduate Research Experience for Underrepresented Students, also known as TAURUS. The TAURUS program is a nine-week summer research experience for highly motivated students from underserved and traditionally marginalized groups. During their time in the program, the students are paired up with professional astronomers at UT Austin to work on a research project, awarding them valuable research experience for their future career aspirations, and also giving them a home in the astronomical community that lasts well beyond the summer experience. UT Austin hosted its first cohort of five Taurus scholars over the summer of 2016. We were thrilled to get this program off the ground, serving this important population of highly motivated students from minoritized backgrounds. But without a steady source of funds over the next few years, it'll be hard to keep this program running. So putting on a program like Taurus requires funds to pay for scholar travel to and from Austin, housing on campus in residential halls, a trip out to McDonald Observatory, and computing resources for the scholars. The Taurus trip to McDonald Observatory is a real highlight. Many of our students have never been to a professional observatory or telescope before, and this is their first time that they can really connect and use a professional telescope with their own work for the first time. It really brings the wonders of the universe closer to home. The students get to experience that for the first time and connect it to their own work and their own passion. After completing their research and presenting it to all of the astronomy department and McDonald Observatory, we keep close connections between the Taurus scholars and the research mentors. We're very much looking forward to bringing them back to Texas in January for the annual American Astronomical Society meeting, where the Taurus students will be able to present their research, network with future graduate schools, and meet prospective future employers. Exposure to UT-based astronomers who themselves come from traditionally marginalized backgrounds, it's important to show them that indeed they can thrive, they can succeed, and most importantly, they belong. 